Okay, I'm going to talk about a movie called Circle. This movie is uh, out now on Netflix. Actually, it's not only been out a few days on Netflix. And um, it reminds me of an old Twilight Zone episode. But it's not exactly like the Twilight Zone. It's a little more like modern and basically the idea is that some aliens capture some humans and they put them in a circle and the humans have to vote on who will survive and of course you have all people from all walks of life you have rich poor black white old young but I mean I thought the movie was too much into stereotypes. Like, for example, there's a stereotype for a Hispanic guy, he's in a gang. And then there's a stereotype for a cop, he's a bit overweight. I mean, come on, guys. I mean, I think you can do better than that. And, of course, the black guy starts talking about racism. Well, I can see that one coming a mile away. Um, I don't know much what to say, you know, they try to include like one person from each group, you know, a disabled person, you know, an Asian person, you know, down, you know, down the list of different people that you could have. And basically the idea is who will survive. And I'm not going to tell you what happens at the end because, you know, I'd be giving the plot away. But there's kind of like a plot twist at the end, something you didn't see coming which is kind of interesting. And yeah, I do recommend the movie because it does show you to a certain extent how people really do act versus in most movies they show you how you wish people would act. In this movie I think they show you how people really do act, which is kind of different. Um, and at first it's kind of confusing because you don't really know why they're in there and what, what the rules of the game are. You really don't know very much. but after a while, you figure it out, you figure how everything works in the game and, and what the contestants are looking for. And I think it's kind of interesting to see, you know, what happens and who uh, does better and who does worse. But the thing that I, the reason that I want to recommend the movie Circle is it makes you wonder, you know, we're all going to die why do people cling to life so much? If you know already that you're going to die, it's something that should be something you just take as a given. You know, you shouldn't be like grabbing on to each little second. Because let's face it, it's going to be over sooner than you can imagine. That said, I think the movie does bring up a lot of interesting. Uh, psychological concepts and I remember I was in psychology class when I was in college and I thought you know this would probably be a pretty good movie for the class to go over you know why did this person do this why did that person do that you know how did the different people interact like for example most of the people were total strangers and they didn't know each other but there was like a few exceptions like for example the cop knew the Hispanic guy and he said that the Hispanic guy was a criminal and was in a gang and that's he knew him from being in prison and stuff like that so I mean that I thought was kind of bad because you know it's that's like an old stereotype you know being always being negative towards you know people of Latin origin and uh, you know even now you see like one of the big presidential candidates is very against people who are Latin and I mean you know they didn't have to use that in the movie but they did there's a lot of, you know, talk about racism. There's a lot of talk about, you know, different things. And as the people see that their lives are coming to an end, they become kind of desperate, you know, to hang on. And it's kind of interesting to see what is happening. And I think the reality, what would happen, would be not exactly the same, but it would be kind of similar in some ways. Like some people would just try to hide and not say anything and hope that that they somehow escape. Other people would be very vocal and try to take over. Other people would 
try to form alliances, you know, different people would try different strategies to survive. But I think the most interesting thing is that all the different strategies, basically, all they can do is just buy you a little bit more time. You're still going to die, no matter what. So, you know, that I'm not going to give the plot away. I'm not going to tell you who makes it and who doesn't make it and stuff like that, because, you know, then the movie wouldn't be very interesting. But I think it's kind of interesting to see, like, for example, one lady admits that she has cancer and the other people are, oh, she has cancer, that means she's going to die, you know. You know, let's just boat her out, you know, let's get rid of her right away. I think it's kind of sad, you know. But um, the movie covers a lot of topics in a short period of time. It's, it's kind of the kind of movie that you might even want to see two or three times in order to take it all in, because there's a lot going on. And, uh, but it's available on Netflix, and I thought, you know, this is really the kind of movie that you would probably would not see in a movie cinema, but it's the kind of movie that, like I said, it kind of reminds me of the old Twilight Zone episodes. It's a movie that makes you think. Most movies, they're just, there's not that much to them. It's just a lot of explosions and, and cars chasing each other down narrow streets and, you know, and people shooting at each other. But this movie is a movie where people are shown in a very unusual situation, you know, where the aliens have come and, you know, they've grabbed the people and stuff like that. And they have this game, you know, and the people have to decide who's going to survive. And I think it's kind of an interesting movie. You know, it's a very unique concept, except that I have seen it some some other places, similar concepts. But um, I, I do recommend the movie.